Hey guys, Digital Tweaker here. Um, today we're going to show you guys how to uh, keep your root on your Atrix phone that is running 4.1.57 and upgrade to the 4.1.83. Um, be sure, first thing you do, you need to make sure you have your uh, charger connected or at least you have enough battery uh, power for this to, to continue. Um, also, next thing you're going to want to do is make sure you are connected to the Wi-Fi which I will do now in settings wireless networks and turn on your Wi-Fi and make sure it's connected to your Wi-Fi and once it's connected <clears throat> um, it should start downloading um, your update automatically and then we'll wait from there um, and actually let it run so just give me a second here Actually, I'll uh, stop here and continue once it has finished downloading. All right, once the, is, the update is finished downloading, it, you should get a screen that pops up here saying install update. Um, we will install now. And it's going to reboot your uh, phone and start to install the update. Um, keep in mind, um, to finish this process, you will also need to um, already have glad root uh, installed on your computer somewhere um, if you don't know what I'm talking about you probably should not be attempting to update um, your phone right now um, you can find other um, tutorials and such as to uh, how to upgrade your Atrix software and keep your phone rooted um, at androidadvice.com and I will provide links below um, so you can uh, download any necessary files you may need and uh, actually go through another step-by-step -step process on that also keep in mind too before you do this you may just in case something happens it shouldn't not, everything should be fine but um, you might also want to run a, a full backup of your phone um, I use titanium backup um, which I will have another video up to uh, show how to do that as well This is a, a kind of a long process, so I'm going to stop it here and continue once it uh, finishes uh, the installation. All right, once it finishes uh, installing the update, it will boot your phone, and you, this is the message you will get. It'll say update status, and it's successful, and you just click OK. Um, now we will do. I'll, I just like to be safe. I'll go ahead and just reboot the phone again. That way, there's you know just make sure it's a clean boot. Um, <clears throat> All right, now the phone is off. I'm going to turn it back on. let it boot back up. Um, next thing you do, you do want to make sure that the USB debugging mode is on and I will show you how to do that once this boots back up.
and when the uh, the actual update was installing, it does take probably about five minutes or so. So if it seems to be taking a while, don't be alarmed. back up make sure it's in debugging mode <clears throat> go to settings applications development and make sure US debug, uh, USB debugging is on it is on here um, and then we're gonna need to plug it in to the computer and make sure you have the folder with uh, glad root open And then make, just, just let your PC recognize your phone first. You should get a notification in the corner of the screen. recognized. Now you're going to want to run the after update batch file. I don't know if you can see it from here. But we will go ahead and run it. It says press any key to continue. Okay. <clears throat> it's now going to reboot the device. Where it says it's going to reboot the device, you may see the red light blinking. Once the phone boots back up, you're good to go. Now the phone is booted back up now, um, I'm going to show you that it is still rooted. Um, probably the best way for me to show you is to open Titanium, which um, show that it needs super user access. Says titanium backup has been granted super user access. And that's it. Um, remember, guys, come back to digitaltweaker.com for more info. And any links and stuff for this tutorial should be listed below. Thanks.